Hi there, in this video we're going to be gluing up guitar tops. Uh, so this is one of the many methods you can use. I like this method personally and it works for tops down to about 4mm thickness, uh, right up to like 4.5cm, so full body blank thickness. Uh, so all kinds of thicknesses it works for, uh, except the really really thin ones. You might want to try the nail board method if you're going to do anything for like acoustics when you're talking really thin, uh, just so there's no damage from the clamps. Uh, but this one works on majority of stuff I do, uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it now. So this is the top we'll be joining today. This is London Plain. Uh, I've already jointed this, so you can see there's no daylight coming through. It's a nice tight joint all the way along. And the setup we're going to be using is this board here, which is a just an ordinary half inch MDF board. And this has been screwed to two long battens, which have been planed beforehand. So everything's dead flat. And we've got tape on the top to stop any glue sticking to it. Uh, so the idea is the top set will go on the here. We'll have a couple of clamps down here, a couple of clamps up there, and these are both going to be clamping it down to the MDF to keep everything flat. Because what you really don't want to happen is you end up with it so it's not flat, so you've got like a gap underneath like that, um, because you'll end up losing a lot of material when you come to thicknesses. And you'll also lose the book match too, because this pattern won't go the same, won't be the same all the way through. So if you sand this side more than that side, you'll end up with a different pattern, and the book match will be lost. Uh, so it's important to keep everything level as you're doing this. Um, the joint kind of takes care, care of itself if you've done it right already. So this doesn't take much effort at all to keep that together. Uh, so while these clamps are clamping it down here, we'll be, apply two big clamps or three, one there, one there, and one there, uh, pulling it together. And obviously the purpose of these clamps is just to keep everything down while these clamps pull across. Because if you try and just put the clamps across like this, you'll end up pulling, butting up against like that and you'll end up with gaps underneath. First up, we're going to apply the glue. So I've got, just got a call here, which I'm going to use to spam the joint and distribute the clamping pressure across this. So I'm going to do two small clamps on either side here. And these aren't fully tight yet. Uh, if you do them too tight, you won't be able to force the joint closed. Uh, but they also don't want to be too loose, because if, you're too, if they're too loose, they just won't work. So these are kind of mediumly loose. And then another coil which I'm going to put across the top here. There's a longer one, it doesn't really matter, this one's fine. But it's good to have long ones if you can, if you've got them. They've obviously got to be completely flat though. Uh, so this is off, it's been straight up the plane. Okay, so that's now loosely clamped down. Apply the big clamps across the side now. So we can use the top to actually rest the clamps on to keep everything level, like this. And then I'm just gonna try and do my best to keep this pulling evenly. And keep everything aligned. You can see it starting to squeeze out, which is great. Now we'll do the top one. You can see because of these clamps are doing their job, I'm actually able to clamp this down quite hard without it slipping off over the top like it would do if they weren't there. Now, I might as well do one more in the middle, also, although it looks like the joint's already pretty good. Okay, now it's all the clamps are on. I can actually tighten these clamps up at the bottom, just to make sure everything stays down. And 
putting these ones up here also. You can see there's, there's no gap underneath this now, everything's right down tight. And you can tell by the squeeze out as well, got a really nice joint all the way up. So now we can just leave this to set and then come and check on it tomorrow. But before that, I should clean up the squeeze out. So after you've done that, you can. it's important to check to make sure everything's okay before the glue sets. And you can see it's down a lot onto the board all the way along, there's no gaps underneath at all. And you can also see those pieces are level with each other and we've got a good join. There's no gap at all and it's going to be an invisible glue to let fine. So I've now taken the top out of the clamps and this is the underside of it. So the side that was facing onto the MDF and you can see we've got the straight edge resting across here and there's no daylight coming underneath. Uh, so we've got a really good surface there, dead flat. And this is now ready to be glued down to the body. That's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions on the process, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks again.